in the last video we create the edit user functionality and we actually create uh, use the same uh, form we actually use the same form which we use for the create user we actually use the same form for the edit user and uh, we did a couple of things in the last video so in this video we are actually going to be assigning a role to this to the first user and the reason why this user doesn't have a role is this is the uh, first user we created we've actually created this user before we build the user the roles and permission so we've created this user before we create the roles and permission so if we try to go to edit user now it won't come up unlike this use the other users this is going to give us an error because we don't have a role for it and to actually give it a role we going to be using the tinker so to use tinker it's actually uh, easy uh, to do that let's just say php artisan tinker so let's just say dollar sign user is called to user where um, email let's see the email is called to this and let's just say get let's run the get command so we've gotten the user right here this is the user and uh, I want to say dollar sign user and this will be assign role and this will be the ID of the role we want to assign and if we come over to roles so we have an ID of three so I uh, want to assign the uh, role of an admin to this user so Let's just say theory and let's see that. Sign uh the sign rule does not exist. So let's go back to our user create user method and see that so this is a sign rule. Uh, okay, I think uh I know what's wrong. What's happening? Uh, we use the get command. So uh, let's just use the first. So we've gotten the first command. Let's now use uh, dollar sign user assign row and let's see that right of theory. So uh, we've assigned the row now. So that's uh that's a silly mistake i shouldn't have made that so we don't when we use the get uh, method it's actually return a collection it returns an array but when we use the first method which is this it just returns a single object the get command ret always return a collection even when even if you have a single item in the collection it will also always return it as a collection uh, another thing you can do is use the find method so that's a that's a mistake or an error you don't want to make so sorry for making that error so um if we should go back to users now yeah so we have the admin and if we should view if we should edit right now so we have the uh so we have the uh it's now shows and we don't have a permission assigned to this user the only permission this user has is the permission assigned to the roles uh i explain i explained uh into details in previous video uh, how this thing work you can assign a permission directly to a user which 
was done right here this permission assigned to directly to the user or you can assign a permission to a role then assign the role to a user that means the user will also have permissions to all the permissions you assign to the roles so hopefully this makes sense to you if it doesn't please go back to uh laravel permissions website and read more on it so uh the next thing we need to do is actually update the user and to do that i'll see you in the next video guys if you're new to this channel please subscribe and turn on notification button see you next video bye